Paths component fanout capabilities make routing easier and ensure the design connections are completed. Here are some examples of the fanout capabilities. Let's first look at a BGA by reviewing its properties. You'll notice that the fanout tab has a red indicator that denotes that the component's fanout properties are set up differently than the default. Here I have an option to create fanouts for pins on plain nets, signal nets, and even unused pins. I can even allow multiple connections to pins, SMD pads, vias, and traces. I can also limit the fanout length if desired. I'll use the standard BGA fanout alignment option, but I also have an option for staggered BGA alignment as well. For this standard BGA, I can choose to generate the vias alignment to be quadrant, diagonal, or X pattern based. I'll choose quadrant for this BGA. Now I'll select a different component type. You'll see the different fanout options that are available for that type of component. I can select different alignment options, alignment fanout for multiple and single row, and also alternating fanout for multiple and single row. I can also set the fanout direction to be as inside, outside, or both sides. And next, I can use the spacing option to set vias on grid, space to allow one trace, or space to allow two traces in between the fanout patterns. On the next component, I have a different style of fanout where I force the vias to be placed in the surface mount pads and staggered as blind vias used for high density designs. The next component, I'm forcing the via to be placed inside the pad again, but I'm also forcing it to be located in the center of the pad. Via placement locations are set by selecting the pad entry tab and choosing the via in SMD placement options you desire. At this point, I could fan out all the components all at once, but for this demonstration, I will do it manually. I'll first select the BGA and right mouse button to execute the fanout command. For the BGA, I specified the fanout to have a quadrant alignment. And as you can see, each quadrant is now fanned out in the proper direction. For the next component, it was set up to fan out with the direction set to inside. And even though all of the pins are not connected to nets, I selected to fan out all pins on this component. For my next component, the fanout was set up to place vias at the end of the surface mount pad and to be staggered. And on this component, I specified the via fanout to be in the middle of the pad. Now I'll go over to a different component, which is a standard quad flat pack that was set up differently and permitted to fan out in both directions. As you can see on this lower quadrant, since there were other obstacles, the fanout vias are placed accordingly in both directions and staggered as necessary in a very quick and efficient manner. Component fanouts and pads can be done in either interactive or full batch automation mode. Its comprehensive strategy for fanouts accommodates different styles of components that result in better routability on very dense and complex boards, as well as for design testability.